We don't know exactly what causes love. Love is a mysterious thing, as we know, and how many plays have been written about love, poems, or books. When a person doesn't sleep, he doesn't eat, and becomes fixated or obsessed with another person. When it gets as severe as a disorder, it's very debilitating. Obsessions. Our expert psychiatrist, Dr. Carol Berman, explores obsession in the brain with the help of the new Hulu original, Chance. Obsession is when a person has uh, persistent thoughts about anything and they keep thinking about it over and over again, as opposed to compulsions, which are actual behaviors where a person does something over and over again. Mine keeps going back to Afghanistan. Man does like his scouts. Man does like his scouts. Let's say you have to arrange all the spoons in your drawer in a certain way and it takes you like three hours. And then punish yourself with thoughts like, oh, I'm bad, I did this wrong, I did this wrong, I did this wrong, and the person is trying to fight it, and they can't even get out of the apartment. I had one patient who was obsessed with her girlfriend, and uh, she kept going after her. So erotomania is a little different and might be more exciting because it has a sexual erotic element, which is more exciting than arranging your spoons in the drawer. <laughs> But uh, erotomania is when a person fixates on another person, constant emails to the person, telephone calls, stalking the person, dreaming about the person. Jacqueline. 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 They could become depressed from it, or the person could be enraged, so angry because the erotic object doesn't return their love. He told me how it would be if I tried to leave. In any medical field, if you get very emotionally involved with the patient, you won't be able to help the person. We can't step outside the boundaries because people have done these things and terrible results have happened. Uh, patients sometimes kill themselves if the doctor starts hanging out with them or trying to have sex with them and the restrictions are very severe. I want to help you. I'm trying to help you. I care about you. A lot of psychiatrists will go for therapy. I've had doctors come to me and try to, you know, stop erotomania or stop obsessive compulsive disorder. We want to make sure we're okay. We're dealing with mental patients every day, so some of us are not okay. Maybe we don't start okay, or why do we go into the field in the first place? Are you familiar with the concept of the frozen lake? It's something you want so badly, you'll go out to the center of a frozen lake to reach it. Or the ice is thinnest but you won't see that. We're just at the beginning of learning about the human mind. Some people, you know, we could work on them for years and we can't get rid of the obsessive thoughts. It's always a challenge to figure out how to take care of them. 